Osaka. Oh, na, 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 Gorilla Black, where you from? What's good, what's good? What's good, man? How you doing today? Just landed. You just landed? Yes, sir. From where? Took, where? A, little, took a little trip. Took Was a little it, uh, trip, a little straightening? Yeah, had a good time. Went to Curacao. Uh, you know, I, Dutch you, Island in the Caribbean. You, you know the funny thing about it? What kind of native people do they have? All right, so that's the thing. Yeah. I experienced a lot of what I assume to be... Racism and colonialism. I was joking. Damn. I experienced it. Yeah. So apparently, so it was a soccer. It was a soccer match going on. It was Poland versus the Netherlands. Okay. So it had like this big thing on a resort and shit like that. They had the TVs in the sand and all this shit to watch Ooh. the soccer game and shit like that. Expensive, right? Yeah. Off rip. I already knew. Like, cause I don't normally watch soccer, but I know you know Europeans they go crazy for that shit. So I knew it was gonna be a big thing. Pause. Or whatever. But I didn't know that they participate in blackface. So a lot of a lot of, there was three guys, three I am assuming they were together. They had on blackface and they had on like the nappy hair you sure wigs. Was it sunscreen? Na- no, it was nappy hair wigs and like one had dreads, like fake dreads and shit like that. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Or what you went to the wrong place. Yeah, I'm like, this is a KKK rally or some shit. Or whatever, oh but apparently it's a, a thing over there in, in the Netherlands where they dress up in blackface. Netherlands will like, never see me. It's called like Black Pete or some shit like that. Black Pete. Yeah, like instead of how we would call it blackface, they call it like Black Pete or some some shit like that. Or whatever, I didn't really understand it or whatever the case is. I saw another black um, couple there and I made eye contact with them to make sure they see what the fuck is going on. And then he wanted, the guy came over to me, explained it to me, said, like, that, that's a thing out there. They don't, they claim it's not, like, you know, racist or... They claim. Or whatever the case is, but... Who decides if yeah, it's racist is, if it's not us? No, but other than that, other than that, I had a good time out there. It's just dope. I do recommend you go there or whatever. That is, it's a nice spot. There was a clear, a probably the clearest water i ever seen. Like, literally, like... Have you been to Jamaica? Yeah, it was more clear than, than Jamaica, yeah. Than Yacht? Yeah. I, I'm assuming that's why they call it Curacao because like Curacao, like the blue um, liquor that they have. You know what's so funny? The water is I never immaculate. knew how to pronounce that word until you went. Oh, the drink? Curacao? No, just Curacao. I never knew. I okay. just seen it. I was like, oh, yeah, that place. I just didn't yeah, know how to pronounce it. Nah, yeah, this shit is dope. This shit is dope. Wow. They speak English too, so that was good. That's like their main language? No, well, it's another one that comes so they speak they, oh, Dutch and shit, well, Dutch, you know, I've whatever. Never heard Dutch before. So a, a lot of people speak Dutch, Spanish, or English, yeah. But the signs are predominantly in English. You say that uh, all inclusive? Um, the, the only the breakfast was inclusive. Okay, so you you was regular fighting it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. One out of ten. Uh, the resort or the experience of the city. Both. Uh, the resort was a eight. The place was a nine. Oh, well, you yeah. had a fucking time. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time, yeah. So why did you come back? Because I, I, fortunately, I had to go back to work tomorrow. Why well, you didn't go back to work today? Because uh, it was closed because of Juneteenth. Nigga shit. <laughs> Nigga it was shit. A good, it was a good time, though. It was a good all time. Right, all right, guys. So we just kind of having like a little pre convo me and my boy closed before we start this. I ain't going to lie, y'all. Sorry. Juneteenth is nigga shit. Don't hate me. Hate yourself. What do you feel about Juneteenth, Wiz? I feel like it's a good thing. I feel like it's uh, something positive. Um, Semi. Also, it's, you know, obviously we get a day off from work and school and et cetera, et cetera. So that's always a plus. Um, but no, nah, yeah, I, th- I think, it, you know, it, it June, July 4th wasn't clearly for us or whatever the case. Like so us. now we have something for our own. You're not going to sit here and compare July 4th, America's Day, to right. Juneteenth. We ain't nowhere near that. How many years do you think we'll have to take for Juneteenth to even sit at the same table as a holiday? It, as just, it just started. Like, this is m- maybe the th- third year. This is the third year that we celebrated Juneteenth that has been celebrated as a holiday. Or whatever. You can't compare... July 4th to Juneteenth. It's just three years and running. The funny thing about it is that July 4th might have lost... And also a lot of people don't even know about it. Like, I went to a parade today and people that were like... I a was passing, in parade. 
that were passing the parade. It was like even African people were coming up to me asking me, <laughs> "Brother, what is this?" Yeah, what? Yeah, basically, what is this? It was a woman asking me with that same accent was asking me, "What is this?" So I'm saying Juneteenth, and she says, "What says, is the And then she says, "My birthday is June 26th." She said, "I'm a June. I'm a June person also." And I'm like, I, I didn't want to sit there and explain it to her or whatever. I'm just like, yeah, right on, sister. You know, she had a dashiki on and all that shit or whatever. But horrible. Nah, she she really had one on. No, she she's authentic. The rest of us are horrible. Yeah, but no, nah, it was a good time. Listen, like, guys. He just this is all capitalism. Oh, they said the niggas ain't gonna spend their money on July Fourth. Let's give them three weeks, roughly, to celebrate something else. Ah, they gotta be out of work. I will take it out these sick days. Go ahead. You think that's what it is? I know that's what it is. Because mm-hmm. guess what? I bet you, you're going to have an all-white fit doing some shit with a burger or a glizzy July 4th. Because we didn't cancel July 4th. I'm not doing anything with glizzies, but... On camera. All right, so you was a part of the parade today. Yes, I was a part did, of the parade. Did you enjoy it yourself? I enjoyed myself because I wanted to uplift my community. The whole idea of Juneteenth... I don't rock with. But at the same time, there is no other fix for the nation that we have at the current moment. I feel like the simple fact that so much business owners or black people from this area that weren't a part of it or didn't even know about it just shows like the lack of, you know, community we have when it comes to stuff like that. So that's where you step in. I mean, that, that, that's what I'm doing now. That's, that's where you step in and you get people to be aware of but what is our said, excuse said with, events. What is our excuse for Kwanzaa? Why we don't celebrate Kwanzaa? Oh, yeah, one thing at a time, bro. What? How long Kwanzaa been around? It was, uh, a long time. I don't and have that shit ain't, answers. nothing is going on. Nothing now going on with Kwanzaa. All right. But June team just What about started. Boxing Day? That ain't even here. That's in Canada and so and, and, we are one people and other play and they celebrate that in Jamaica too, right? In the West Indies and shit like that. Exactly where I was going. Yeah. So, okay. I don't, I, man. We gotta like call things for what it is. Whole holidays. Look at how look at the word holidays and look at the word holy days. They take the religion aspect of stuff and turn it into capitalism. Christmas is Christ Mass, a mass for Christ. Guess what? Even if you don't believe in Christ, you still be wanting a Christmas present, motherfucker. Am I lying? No, okay. sir. Exactly. So yeah, I'm. I'm I am. I'm done. I'm done. Like, the good thing about Juneteenth, though, is we got we got our clap back for Janet Jackson. What? Excuse me. Justin Timberlake. He got locked up. He oh got arrested for D- DWI. What did he do? Uh, apparently he had, well, according to him, he only had one martini, and uh, he refused a breathalyzer, so they locked his bitch ass up. He refused it three times. I wonder what the fuck Justin did in the Hamptons to get the niggas so mad. In the Hamptons too? Yeah, in the Hamptons. The whitest yeah. of white richest places? Yeah, in Long Island. Yeah. Nah, he was gonna buy like Sony or some shit because there's no reason for him. No, I think I think that only happens to black people. That's what I want. Maybe because he fucks with. Fucks with who? At? Black women. But I'm, I'm I'm appreciative. Janet Jackson got her clap back, and it was all but for June. She got her June back clap too. <sighs> that's that's. You tell me what. Have sex with Janet Jackson and get a, w, a DWI or not? All right. I probably fuck Britney Spears, but ew. Yeah. Who's your white celebrity fantasy? You really want me to? I don't know if she's white per se. I like Hillary Duff. I don't know. I don't know if she's white per se, but I'm uh, have an affection Doja? for um for Amber Rose. You know my type. I have a weird type. <laughs> There's no way. Is she Caucasian? Amber Rose is white. She say nigga. She do. I'm pretty sure she said nigga. There's a white people that say nigga too. She does have the sharp Barbie nose, but she could have bought it. I like the body type. Her body type. Is. Yeah. But. You can just go pick a number five. And at Kanye the, and Kanye's at a bitch. Doctor. What? And Kanye's bitch, Bianca. He has a type. Yeah. Clearly. But I think Emerald was. She had a slut. Well, you know what? She. That sounds like some white bitch shit. Slut walk? Yeah, yeah. Whole walk would have been more. Slut is very white and polished. 
I know a few. I know a few black sluts. I know a few black sluts too. No, just all white bitches. <laughs> What's the difference between a slut and a hoe? Are we really gonna go? Yeah, there? I, I want to know. I don't. I don't, don't want to. I can't discuss that. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. I changed my life around, as you've seen. I don't want to talk those things. Ungodly things. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move on since you're caping. Let me see Thank if you, you feel a way about this nigga. Okay, who that? So Iman Shumper. Hey. <laughs> yeah. On, before before I get there, Tiana. You made a couple of mistakes, baby. Change that. Let's, She's okay. going through a traumatic divorce. Wait, you, wait, let me finish. You're trying to shoot let your shot? Let me get my shit off. Tiana, you from Harlem, from the Bronx. I mean, I got... Come on, I would never do you like that, nigga. I would never ask for royalties or alimony or child support when you got the kids. What's going on with Iman, Wiz? Well, they getting a divorce. Um, apparently, he's saying that she makes more money than him. <laughs> so his his portion of the of the child support should go down. He wants half taken off. He only wants to pay, I think he's paying 16 right now. He want to pay 8K or whatever. Um, his finances got divulged, which was kind of, you know, I guess embarrassing to him. Yes. Or whatever. Uh, he said that he pays, uh, what you call it, 14 Fourteen thousand dollars a month for eating out. Hey. Um, eating <laughs> like at fuck, yo. eating like at restaurants and shit like He's that. He's a Fast food and shit like He's that. He's a freak. So it's fourteen fourteen thousand dollars on that Four, a month. Wait, fourteen thousand a month. Yes. Which is seven five. So that's three thousand seven hundred fifty a week. Which is Jesus. He spends fourteen thousand on his podcast. He has a podcast and he spends fourteen thousand a month. He spends five hundred dollars a day on food. I just did the math. Yeah, he's probably eating good. And he probably, I'm pretty sure he's not eating alone. All right. And also, Hold on, before, he spends 6K on his music videos. He does music still? Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. And he also, in, he's in the TV show, The Shy. I don't know if you watch that. No, no. It's on Showtime. And if he's on it, I'm not watching it no more. Yeah, he's, he's a very bad actor. <sighs> All right. I don't want to divulge inside it's information. Cheaper to, it's cheaper to keep her. But... A friend of mine contacted me one day, and she was like, I talked to this guy. He used to play basketball. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah. And she sent me a screenshot, and it said Iman. Yeah. And I said, is that Iman Shumpert that Tiana's Iman Shumpert? You dropping tea right now? She said, yeah, they used to talk. I said, bitch, that was his wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you mean used to talk? What yeah. is he telling you? Mm-hmm. They have kids. They have a family. Yeah. If you get caught outside with that nigga, you're going on TMZ. Yeah. Then I spoke to her yest- yesterday. Mm-hmm. And she said, yeah, I've been speaking to him still. He's still a little stressed over his court case. Yeah, I would be stressed too. I'm like, leave that man alone. In all honesty, this is the first time I'm siding with the woman in wow. this case. Wow, you normally changed. I, normally I try to stick with my you niggas. You fucking changed. Now, nah, when I found out that he named one of his daughters Iman Shumpert Jr., yeah. I knew that. Junie. Yeah, there's clearly a problem there. I didn't realize that she I've was junior at a time because Tiana is very creative. I thought she wanted to do that. I thought that was like her idea to name. Well, you you're not gonna name your daughter after the nigga. I mean, I mean, when when you're in love, you do some stupid shit. No, it ain't that the truth? Oh, yeah, boy, with, I'm triggered. With, what what happened? It's, it's all right, okay. go ahead, go ahead. Tone it back, tone it back. All right, thank you, thank you. But I, I, like in that case, if you were speaking to a woman, yeah, and she made more than you, and y'all split, what would you do? I probably do the same thing in my trouble store. If she made more than me, if she made more than me, you're a horrible man. If she made more yes. than me, yes. And if my wife is a celebrity, yes. And I'm retired from the NBA, yes. <laughs> yeah, and nigga, a- run it up, nigga. City boys is up. <laughs> run that check. That's a horrible thing. Man. Hell yeah, fuck that. What happened to the love and and like the? And love is done. Lo- love is lost. We we getting a divorce. What you mean? This but, ain't here no more. But like, give you, me back, give me back all the things I gifted you. I want the condo back. Bring it up. Give give it do back. You only love a woman to the extent that she's in your life. Yeah. What? Yes. That's not love. What you mean? All right. So you you can't fall out of love. You can Once you in love with somebody, that's just it. There's in love, and then there's love. Okay. I still have love for people in my past. Don't run with this bitch, but. 
I still got love for all the women in my past. Not in love with them. I wish them the best with or without me. You want them to die. You're a better man than I am. I'll say that for certain. So you love none of your exes? I love all my hoes. Current hoes? <laughs> nah. Um, I'm pandering. I'm joking. Uh, whatever. But I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But I'm talking about like in a relationship like that, Nah, we and, and obviously they in the midst of it. So of course I'm not gonna sit there and like, admit. After time goes on, maybe yeah he will have some you know love for her. But at right now, when they in the thick of that's it, that's the mother of your fucking kids. Not one mistake, two. It's not necessarily a mistake. I'm saying say I'm that. not calling Junior a mistake. I'm saying if it was one, then you could you could get off the mistake. Right. But bro, after you dealt with the girl being pregnant giving birth, having a child, having the birthday parties, having the family, and then having another one and watching that one grow up, that's when you want to not love the girl no more? I think you're a little too late. You get one mistake. And also, wise. you don't know what caused them to have some separation. So that's another thing. Maybe be, maybe over some finances. I'm sorry. Why they having a as, disagreement? As a man, as a man we just got to we just gotta lose in, in, in peace, bro. Is that your eye? Right, you just go. Just go. Lose in peace? Lose in peace. Like, this is too loud. Yeah, you feel me? Like, but he may not. He may not really have it. You know what? The NBA pension probably only paying him but so much. Yeah, he, he probably should. still probably still living that lifestyle you that he LeBron. that he was. You think you think LeBron going to give him some money? Get him a LeBron get niggas jobs. <laughs> Tristan Thompson was on a team and then a, a sport broadcaster. Not happening, bro. Like, niggas like, niggas fuck with Iman, bro. Mm-hmm. I will say fair women. But I... Mm-hmm. I guess we could go to that. Because I seen something, and it said that... A girl was actually complaining. She was like... She has so much female friend problems. Why don't guys have guy friend problems? So What's the, the difference between... Boy relationship and girl relationships. So, from what I I witnessed in my immediate circle and some of the women that I dealt with in their like friend group, mm-hmm. for the most part, us guys we mind our business. What do you mean by mind your business? So, like, let's just say hypothetically, if you crashing out on shorty or whatever, or you doing things that may be detrimental to you or whatever, <sighs> we I may see it. Or whatever, but see no evil everybody evil. everybody lives their own life or whatever the case is. So we may see it, we may have our own opinions, but I probably won't address address it to you. Just let, whatever. Just let me so, get my shit off. Yeah, so that also keeps our relationship somewhat intact. Yes. Or whatever. But on the other hand, with women, they have for whatever reason have to voice their opinion or say something catty Just to the other one. Out. Just like for example, um, I'll tell you who the person is after, but um Shorty was telling me the other day. Um, something along the lines of uh, she has a friend that's not taking care of her kids <laughs> or whatever and it's like the topic of the group chat and she wants to confront the girl with it like yo start taking care of your kids or whatever so I'm like so who's the kids with now she's like she just basically leaves the kids with the baby father or whatever the case is so she's asking me should she say something to the, her friend who yeah. is neglecting her kids my she she was asking me my opinion. I told her, I said, nah, stay out of it. I said, one, that's not your kid Obviously. or whatever cases. You don't know what dynamic she has with the baby father or yeah. whatever. Just leave it alone. Let it, you know, play out. If it's something that's, you know, detrimental, she abusing the kid, then obviously, yeah, you got to say something. But maybe that works for her and the baby father. You don't know what kind of shit she got going on. She may be uh, on drugs or, you know, whatever the case is. Yeah. And if you force her to, let's say, hypothetically watch her kids and then some bullshit happened yeah. because you basically forced it on her and something that she's not ready to do or whatever. And then she, whatever took, felt some type of way about what I said when I'm basically telling her mind her business. And then she's like, oh, she says, because that's what you do with your nigga that don't mind his kid, right? And she says, she's talking about you know who or whatever cases, And you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. But she's like, she's like, yeah, but you don't say, you don't say something about him, blah blah blah. And I'm like, well, first of all, me and him don't even uh, oh, lay like that. Yeah, exactly. For me, me to even have a suggestion on how he should, you know, treat his family 
or whatever the case is. But at the same time, I'm on my business. Mind your fucking business. Yeah. And then that's why, I, I, for the most part, I, what I witness is women crash out because they always have an opinion on what their friend doing, who their friend fucking, who their friend uh, doing business with or what job they got going on and all the intricate parts of their you know life. For the most part, we stay out of our each other's personal lives mm-hmm. or whatever. We trying to we link up. We're trying to fuck some bitches. We're trying to do, <laughs> you know, or we're trying to go play ball, whatever. Read our uh, Bibles. Read our Bibles or whatever the case is. But book, book, that's, that, that's book, the difference. Book, book, book that's, a, that's the difference I noticed between. So you think the diff- women relationship be better if they just stop over whooping and stepping into spaces they should yeah, sometimes you just gotta mind your business. Sometimes you just gotta shut the fuck up. Honestly, I feel like women have a control problem. Since they don't have a lot of control, they try to. Sorry, I don't know if you knew you didn't have a lot of control, but you don't have a lot of control in some certain situations. And I feel like women be trying their hardest to. My friend has to be like this, this, this. My friend could be the complete opposite of me, but we're friends, mm. and it's cool. That's what yeah. you like to do. That's what I like to do. Mm. You have a job. I play sports. You don't play sports. It's cool. Yeah. Yo, you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't a fish, right? Yeah. Okay, Sh- cool. Shorty, Shorty's reasoning for trying to get into her friend's you know business or whatever was, she said her friends are a reflection of her. So if she sees that her friend is doing something that's detrimental, like not participating in a kid's life, she thinks that it's a reflection on her. This is what she said. I don't believe that shit. Because at the if end of the day, if your friend is not perfect and you're not perfect, reflection match. Yeah, right, correct. And also at the same time, I'm pretty sure you have friends that you're not proud of what they do on the outside or whatever. I'm pretty sure there's things that I may have said or done that oh, you're oh, not you're proud about of. You. Okay, cool. That you're not. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I do everything perfect, but I'm you pretty have to sure. Go there, huh? I'm pretty sure you've seen your friends do some things that you you know you want to be in favor of. But that's not a reflection of you. Yeah, just because my friends um, made you a single mom don't mean I would do it. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm joking. It was an example. Okay. That was a harsh example. Uh, that's what just came to mind. I don't know why that one came to mind. But no, like, honestly, I just feel like women just try to, like, be too... Like, that's probably why y'all visions and stuff be so fucked up. And y'all go on vacations and come back enemies. Because you don't leave space for other opinions or other views or imperfections. It's like, there's a bunch of guys that I chill with that do a bunch of different things. I can't only chill with a bunch of fashion designers and basketball players. It's not going to work. It just, it don't work like that. Like, you have to have different aspects of your character spread around. And I need... To be able to go speak to somebody about something else, you know? But I don't think women think like that. Logic is off. It's kinda <laughs> it's kinda weird. Um, I do wanna ask you, what did you do this weekend that just passed? I forgot to ask you that. Um well oh, I was you in, just came back. Yeah, I was in Curacao. Oh yeah, fuck it. While you were away, you didn't get to see the the fight? Uh yeah, so on stream, yeah. What did you think about the fight? Um, the, well, the highlight for me was obviously the backflip or whatever. But other than that, I'm not really into boxing like that or whatever. I hate to see, bl- uh, you know, black men hurt each other. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what? I don't like to see black so men you watch hurt hockey? each other. No, I don't watch You want to see white men hurt each other? No, no. I don't like to see men hurt each other, period. I, I, I just figured I'd use the, the black okay, guys because it's Juneteenth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you see where I'm trying to go with this it. Nigga shit. No, I'm not. All right, can you stop saying the word N word, please? Thank you. It's June. 10th, it's bro. nigga day. Just one. <laughs> that's what pe- people on the internet are calling it nigga day. They're calling it nigga day. Nigga day, Juneteenth, the freedom freedom of slaves and blah blah blah. blah. But I've seen a couple of people that just shorten it as nigga day. Nigga day. That is crazy. Every nigga is a star. <laughs> so. What you didn't really indulge in the fight to that extent? No, no. Mm-mm. I thought Javante Tank, whatever you want to call him, was gonna win. Mm-hmm. He won. The most impressive thing was those Chrome Hearts shorts and that backflip. Because, mm-hmm. but he practiced that shit. I didn't know that. He really. Oh, he did. Yeah, like he showed. So he has a career in wrestling then, if he could do that 
often. That nigga is fucking good. He is a star, though. And I feel like boxing needs saving right now because ever since Floyd and Pacquiao been out, it's kind of been kind of rough. Hopefully he can restore the feeling. But since you were away, you didn't, you didn't, you seen a little bit of fight. Did you see, sorry, big up Dre, wherever he at. Did you see the Celtics win? I had no, yeah. Their I, 18th yeah, championship I, I wasn't, and break the record. In well, the with, name of Bill Walton. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jerry West. The most chips in the yeah, in the league, yeah. Um What do you think about that? Well, one, I hate it had to be Boston at one, obviously, because you know I'm a Philly fan. Shit like that. Yeah. But I guess, you know, fuck it. Uh Jason Tatum finally got one. I finally got one. Congrats nice to him. And Jalen Brown and Porzingis and all that shit. Um Yeah, I can feel the hurt oh, in your in your voice. Eh? Now, yeah, I wasn't thrilled about this. <laughs> At all, um, I, I really wanted Kyrie to get one. Yeah. Uh, oh well, another one I should say. They didn't look good. Yeah, yeah. Never I wasn't, I wasn't, good. I wasn't thrilled by that. Never but, you know, good. fuck it is what it is. Yeah. Um, he about to sign. They about to, you know, get an extension. I really wanted to see what the fuck would have happened if they would have lost. If they would have broke that team up, really, that would have been interesting. You wanted to see them break up? I wanted to see what would have happened if they lost. Like that would have been an added. So you think that would have been the, the 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 last straw? They would have just broke yeah them yeah because they had too many chances before this. I think they would have probably broke them up. Do you all right? So you think they played so good that they could be back again here next year? They could repeat. Uh, it depends what the how the draft go. Uh, next week, next draft is next week. Who the fuck is good in the draft? Bronny, 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 Bronny. Wherever Bronny goes, LeBron is going. Gotta think about it. Use logics. Yo, so Philly got this, I think, 16th or the 17th pick. You know what's going to happen. So the starting backcourt, the starting team is going to be Maxi, LeBron James Jr., Tobias nah, Harris, nah, we LeBron sitting, James we sitting, Sr. Nah, we sitting Bronny on the bench. He ain't even playing. He's just going to be on the team. He's going to be on the, on, you know, he's going to be on the injury reserve, even though he's healthy. We just need LeBron. That's it. You think that's really going to happen? Yeah, Yeah, I think so, yeah. I've been speaking with Nick Nurse, so. If you're speaking to Nick Nurse, <laughs> Philly lost. <laughs> no <laughs> fuck. Yeah, what well, he doing to talking to me off, during the offseason, right? Nah, I, I, all right, fuck it, because we talking about the East. Do you think, well, no, I'm talking about the whole NBA. Do you think that's it for Kyrie? That's the last chance he's going to get that close? Nah, he not. He got, he's still. Do you think the Mavs are going to really have a chance to do that kind of thing again? Yeah, well, yeah, it depends what, Mar well, Mark Cuban not really the owner anymore, right? He, but He's not? No, nah, yeah, I think he sold it. He sold it. What? I didn't yeah. even know that. But um, wow. it depends. No, nah, I think they got so close. I think they have no choice but to, you know, try but, to get free agents and, and shit like that. And they got so close. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that's willing to uh, work with um, or not work with, but play with Kyrie and um, Luka, even though they probably lost because of Luka's horrible defense. Or whatever, but they got to get a defensive stopper mm -hmm. and maybe another backup point guard, and they, they'd be good. They're good to go. Uh, their bench was very surprising to me because I never really watched the Dallas Mavericks game. Nah, that, they, they, the new guys, PJ Washington, all them other people, they're really, really good. It's just, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't watch their games for real. It's like, where the fuck these niggas come from? Are any of the Europeans like good, dominant, uh, defensive wise? No. Because you've seen, you seen the clips of Luca, all the, like, all the defenders. All the people that Lucas defended just like literally mm, flying let's by him. See who's a good European defender. Besides Greek the freak, obviously. He's he's not even all that defensively. He's okay. I don't think he's nah, but I believe that niggas ain't blown by him, Paul. I, I believe Europeans just got to the point where it's like, alright, y'all want to see fancy nigga shit shooting, nigga sh nigga shit mm -hmm. shooting, dribbling, dunking. Shooting is nigga shit. That's all we do. Just shoot. <laughs> but no, honestly, they just thought about it like, yo, we're good. like think about it, like think about it, like Luca been playing professional ball since thirteen. Yeah. If you take a guy and say, all right, you're in the eighth grade, or you're playing professional basketball. If we make you really, really good, this is your ceiling basketball. If we make you really, really smart, this is your ceiling working with somebody else. Mm. I mean, the gamble's not too. Off. As mm. long as you're tall and maybe a little a little talented. No, yeah, I, but I really want to see how the offseason going to go before I determine whether Boston can run it back next year. I don't, I think, 
I don't think the first season LeBron is going to end up playing with his son. And for some reason, I think he'll end up being in the Lakers no matter what. I think someone's going to find a way to dictate some type of trade to get him to the Lakers, whoever does pick him up. So I feel like somebody like Pistons is going to just get him and be like, yeah. Nah, Pistons not gonna use it. They they got a high dra- They got a lottery. But no pick. one in the thing is really worth it. They're saying that's the thing. Mm. They're gonna try and pry away one of them vital pieces. Mm-hmm. But LeBron is king finesse. He probably pay some money under them table. Like yo, yo. At the end of the day, the the ticket prices for the first game of them doing that is gonna be yeah yeah out there. Like ask. his like LeBron is designing his story, his NBA legacy, so like. LeBron James the King, his first game was against the Kings. I'm just, I'm just saying. You a conspiracy theorist? I could be. Like, think about it. Like, what are the chances? I got a crown on his back. You know what? Play Sacramento. Stay in the league. Get your son in. You know, so I, I don't know. But besides that, um, the internet was kind of well. Over the weekend, I didn't real quick, real quick, I got a quick question. You ever had a breathalyzer done on you? No, okay. I've never been caught. <laughs> so you admit to driving drunk? If I could drive, I ain't drunk. Mm. I, I had a breathalyzer done to me hey, one time. You failed. Um, the first time, pause. I blew into it because hey. I was lit. Yo, I was lit, and I I thought this was it for me. <laughs> or whatever So I blew into it Ever so slightly Pause Or whatever And the guy The cop told me To blow harder Pause hey! And yo. I told him I said yo I got asthma hey! <laughs> And then he's like He's a quitter He said he, So he tells the other cop He's like yo He's playing around He's playing around Get him Right And I'm like alright I'll do it one more time That pause. sounds like a gangbang I don't like how this sounds And then I just said Fuck it And I blew into the device hey! Pause Or whatever And uh, thank God it, it wasn't as high as as I thought. I only had like maybe like two, three drinks or whatever. But by the time, um, I guess by the time they checked me, I was I was pretty good to go, and they sent me on my way. Uh, my fucking job ID didn't help at all. Like these niggas wasn't like, nah, with fuck it. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck you. Normally that should help me when I get when I get for some reason I always get stopped at the airport or whatever. Normally my job ID kind of smooths. Yeah, you, they, you, you give you give terrorist vibes. Yeah, they they swap my hands for bomb residue, all types of shit. Like he's short and he's old and he and he, and he got that. Look. <laughs> what look I have? You're mischievous. My skin's not even olive. You're, a, but that's you're the perfect victim. You're the perfect person. It's like uh, one of these menacing guys came over here, braided up some black girl, and took the son and trained him to be a killer. <laughs> like <laughs> it's a per- don't take the idea literally, guys. But I'm saying it that's would work. Crazy. You know, just put him in the black culture and make him a nigga. That is wild. But no. Um, over the weekend, I also, um, um, besides the game, I went to, I actually went to Soul House. You ever been to Soul House before? Soul House? No, no. Mm-mm. So I went to Soul House. Um, Capella was Been doing, a Dumbo House. Well, it's still, all it's still those the same are part shit, of Soul right? House, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Capella was doing um, some live performance, and I met a couple of good people. And then um, I got contacted by someone a part of Chris Brown's camp to actually dress him, but they were dragging their feet. So and we never got to link. And I was trying to get free tickets to the concert because I'm going to tell you something. What concert? Chris Brown concert. Okay. You haven't, you haven't been, to, you ever watched him perform? No. Literally the best performance I've ever seen. So I'm going to say this. There's no such thing as cancel culture. Besides Beyonce. Get the fuck off the internet and come outside because no one's canceled. Before I go to Chris Brown, I'm going to tell you, y'all told us that snitching was bad and Gunna is out here out selling little baby concerts. You tell me how that worked. Now let's go to Chris Brown. He's done horrible things. He's clearly Pyro, Blood, whatever affiliate now. Big homie. Big fucking homie. And he does what the fuck he wants unapologetically, but he... Chris Brown is still Michael fucking Jackson. I heard what Fat Joe said. What Fat Joe said? He said if Chris never got into that situation with Rihanna, people would be referring to him as Michael Jackson. Um, no, he, like, it don't make, like you said, he's the best performer you've ever seen. Like, yes. 
His performance is crazy. When he hits it's the very, town... It's very energetic. The nigga's dancing and flipping all over the fucking he's place. A fucking, he's ha- you seen him hanging from the, the ceiling and then yeah. he got stuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, cursing yeah. niggas out. Like, yeah. He's like, he's about to yeah, <laughs> violate the, niggas. Nah, yeah. He, I seen him... Um, I think it was... I, it was at the Prudential Center where yeah. I saw him. And yeah, that was that shit was dope. That was, nah, was he's dope really A1 and I, I, I gotta respect his gangster like mm-hmm. literally. But it's like I don't I, I'm starting not to the power of this council culture shit don't exist to me no more. It's like Yeah, but when you have when you have certain people in power they blend at certain them. places. Yeah, exactly. His talent overrides so, so, all of that. Yeah, so how are you saying that cancel culture is over when he's clearly being blackballed? But he, it's this, not, he will never be. He will never perform at the Super Bowl. That's cool. As long as Jay Z running it, he's never going to perform. Cool, there. but at this point, he can, he can, he can do well still with. A, remember, Super Bowl you don't get paid for. So right. yeah, but it, it you get paid in the back end based of off of. The promotion well, Chris, and the streams well, and sales and like, other performances that you gone on from that. Yeah, but he can still be Chris Brown though. He won't be the poster child. He won't be Beyonce. You're right. Right. But hey, Beyonce can't sell clothes. So win win. <laughs> Chris can't sell clothes either. He has a clothing line called Black Pyramid or some shit like that. That I think Black Pyramid really... sells more than Ivy Park. <laughs> Definitely not. Right, maybe not, but okay. I, I tried. I it's seen that, better than House of De Leon. I seen that shit in House what? of De Leon. House of De Leon. I damn. So this ain't her first rodeo. Oh, you're not paying attention. I'm a designer. She's she's dropped the ball. Mm-hmm. She's not Jesus. Mm. I'm not saying Michael Jackson would have. So black black shoes, women but. don't support black women. At the end of the day. Shout out Brittany Grinder. She had a kid, I think. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Brittany did what? What she did? Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Big B out there. Oh, I wanted to double back. Yeah. Did you see? Or what do you think about Chris Brown and his fan picks? The meet and greet picks. He charges like twelve hundred, and he does meet and greet picks. How do you feel about those? Those are those are dope. Those, he charged what um eleven eleven. Yeah. It was one thousand one hundred eleven dollars. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, like if you're a woman, he'll you know, grab your ass and all that shit. He'll. She, I want, you know, she, do that you're <laughs> No, so the funny thing is, so he did, there was one guy that took a picture with him and they did like some like... The, it was a fusion dance. Yeah, the fusion, yeah, yeah. yeah that was cool. Ball, that was so hilarious. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Or whatever case. I'm they not did sh- it wrong, by the way. They would have been fat with that fusion dance. But. I'm not sure if I would, you know, pay that kind of money to... I mean, he's one of my, you know... I listen to him a lot. His music is dope. I'm not paying shit like that. Yeah, but I'm not paying to yeah take a picture with him. Why do you think he does that? Cause they know that he can get money from it. Like it's obvious. It's a it's a clear cash cow. Like he, niggas wanna niggas wanna well women want to take pictures with him and shit like that. Uh, even though he's breaking up happy homes and shit like he's that. He's dead selling dick without fucking. Yeah, yeah. Like pussy don't even cost that much. Like the like this you ever heard, you saw this situation over the past weekend with uh, Terrell Lewis and Mia Mercy. No, please oh, enlighten me. So he's uh he's obviously he's in the NFL or whatever cases, but he was at Shorty's um hotel or whatever and he, he ran out on the track? Yeah, he ran out on the bill. Ran out on the pussy, yep. And she taped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know why she she running down the hall naked. Like this nigga's he plays he's plays in the NFL. Like, like they're gonna catch him. Did you check Women, his, use logic? Did you check his combine numbers? He was amazing. Like uh, you think you was you gonna see catch the contract, up to this right? Nigga? That's how he got the contract. Yeah, but I, I salute him. Like first of all, paying for sex is illegal. You don't want to do anything illegal to fuck up your your, your situation, your contracts, and your endorsements. <laughs> I would run out of on it too. Prostitution is illegal. You can't be doing these things. Where's what? <laughs> no, she doesn't deserve anything. No, it's illegal. Pussy is free. Pussy enough for sale. Exactly. Does she? Terrell clearly listened to Vibes Cartel. <laughs> and I'm not paying you. I'm, I'm, and it was probably trash, too. Damn. Some of it's good. He'd be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to subscribe to OnlyFans and see what's really going for. That's disgusting. I'm just going to see. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> fuck that. But um, besides... Chris Brown and the Fusion Dance taking over the internet. So I know it's hit the internet. Mm-hmm. 
I'm curious about. And I, I've i mixed feelings five about... Dollars, five dollars a month. To watch her? Yeah, yeah. Her name is Mo Money? Mia, Mia Mercy. Nah, oh. Mia, Mer- Mia Mercy. Say, Hold on. <laughs> What's going on? But no, so... Look, her, her bio says, if you want to come, then stay here. And she online right now, too. The green thing is up. Well, maybe she didn't complete her contract and he didn't come. Saying, pass my wallet? No, no. Okay, all right. we'll do this after the show. No, no, Sam. We'll do this after the show. Sam already got the subscription. <laughs> oh, he got the Reddit, the Reddit links. Somebody's at the door. I don't know who it is. Somebody's at the door. Um, But there's a thing that's going on. I don't know if it's something new, but for some reason, Complex and a bunch of people always do less. Yeah. And I feel like, one, no disrespect to Complex. They just did a list, and it's not even, the year's not even over, and they did a list of... The most, um, the most, uh, the best sneakers of 2024. And it's, it's already, it's just June. I'm not going to get into yeah. that. I'm going to leave the fashion part alone. Yeah. But the thing about it is that I love Mark Echo. I grew up with a rhino on my chest and all that stuff. But who made Complex? G-Unit sneakers? The person. Who made the Complex the person to decide what's, what? Complex got I'm pretty sure they got interns or like a group of interns. Some of those people though. I'm pretty sure some of the people you probably follow. Well esteemed people? You think Not so? well esteemed people, but I'm pretty sure tastemakers or people that's in the know. I want to know who make these fucking lists. Okay. So what I'm going what I'm getting. And at, also it drives tracks into the website and the Instagram and the That's social why media. it's fucking fake. That's exactly what I'm about to say. Well, yeah. Everybody yeah. anybody start doing lists after the complex lists and stuff. Because it works. Or who hot as shit. The algorithm Everything works. Everything is fake, guys. All the comments go up. All the in- engagements go up. And shit like that. These niggas ain't stupid. So they dropped the list of the funniest internet people. Yeah, top 20 funniest internet people, yeah. All right. So we're going to go through this list. Yes. And before I get to the list, what do you feel about this list? Um... Don't be specific. I want to go through the list. For no, nah, for the most part, I think the list was on point. Um, the only one person I felt like was uh, missing, um, for the most part, was Skin and Bone. I don't know who that is. Skin Bone. He does like he's just like some, I'll show you his um swag. his he's yeah swag? he look yeah he looked just like swag yeah wow so crazy. yeah but he okay. he does a lot of dancing so, and shit like that. I'm gonna go through this list of about the people I know. Yeah. And I'm gonna comment. Gillian Wallow came through at 19. Okay. Mm. I I don't I don't even think they're funny. Um, I watch this stuff. I don't I don't find them as funny. Yeah, I don't think anything doing with uh, jail references and homo homosexual shit, erotic uh, I fuck, I fuck jail with you. talk. I fuck with you, Wallow. I not, got Wallow. I got Wallow on, on the text. It's I Gilly that with. make the you know the jail jokes and shit like that. It's just corny to me. All right, and then I don't want to hear about a nigga getting raped. I probably shouldn't have said that. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Um, number 17 is Vince Staple. I'm going to tell you. Vince is fucking hilarious. The but, thing is, he's dead serious. Too. But Vince is not trying to be funny. <laughs> right. He's just talking about his day and mm-hmm. the facts. And mm-hmm. he is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Then they got 16, Cam and Mace. Cam and Mace are also not trying to be funny. They are Harlem niggas. Nah, Cam's... Cam is being be funny, funny yeah. but he's not... Being funny. He's just a funny nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what works. Then I believe, you could correct me if I'm wrong, number 15 is Lou Ratchet. That's the guy that does the power reenactments. Yeah, yeah. He is fuck it. No, no, that's uh, That's Lou Young. Lou Young. Oh, sorry. So fuck number 15. Before I get to Lou Young, I'm going to jump. Lou Lou Young is number 11. He is fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. That nigga... I still think about it with Zeke. Lou Ratch, Boy, I, Lou Ratch is the nigga that be in the camera like, we your moms, nigga. Nah, I'm good. The Lou Young nigga with the whole power situation, he is, he don't miss. Yeah, he yeah, He should yeah. do the whole, his own whole season. He was making fun of the the, the basketball nigga. What's his name, Zeke? I'm gonna miss the drive. I'm gonna miss the drive. <laughs> the drive. <laughs> you lie. 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 <laughs> that yo, he... I can watch that 16 <laughs> times over. That nigga is hilarious. Oh, yeah. Kai Sinat, 14. Bronx nigga. Sorry, Swag. I, I, I fuck with Kai. I don't know. I have no watch enough for him to be funny to me. 
Yeah, he doesn't give me like doesn't give he me don't f- do skits or he anything don't do funny like that. Vibes. Like, yeah. He's just a, he just moves like very childish sometimes. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go back on the childish situation a little bit later. Um, Desi Banks should have been way higher. Desi Banks is funny. Yeah, he is one of the guys that tries to be funny. Yeah, so I actually like where he he lands. Um, Curvo Dolo mm-hmm. is the nigga that. You should have wore a wristband, right? Yeah. He's he a... is very good at what he does. I don't know if he's higher than Desi mm-hmm. or even higher than Lou, but he's very good at what he does. I'll give it to him. Funny Marco. I like Funny Marco. He does a lot of good work, but I don't think he's funny. Right. He has dry humor. He's very dry humor, and it's really tough for it to connect all the way. Like, it's not instant. It's right. It's like, all right. And uh, he and because it's dry, stale humor, he can miss and you won't know that he's missing. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of tough. Now, I'm not. I'm. A, I'm gonna jump past this guy and go back. I'm gonna go to um, Ben the Don. I think Ben the Don is more so industry for some reason. I don't know. I don't yeah. think he's that funny. Yeah, he's exactly. cool with Drake. Yeah. Whatever. That does amazing for you for your career. And then I'm gonna go to who's number one, and I'm gonna go to who's my favorite. Number one is Juski. Drewski is funny, but I don't think Drewski is. Is Drewski the funniest nigga right there? Damn, he low key he could be. So the thing with that gives him the edge over majority of the field is he's very creative and he's very accurate with his jokes. He's he, all right. Like, yeah, a lot true. of the situations are very realistic. Okay, like I'll give him we've that. witnessed a lot of those same situations, and it's like he's doing it to the T. Okay. He's performing it very well. You know well. what? Because of that, I will probably keep Juski number one. My favorite person on this list yeah. is Trey Rags. Yes. Number four. OD funny. Yes. And I'm surprised he made four. But mm. to me, he's number two. Yeah. Trey Rags does not break character. Trey Rags does not try to make... He doesn't say it in a way that will make you laugh. He is so dead ass. Yeah. And his situations... 99.9% of the situations I've, I've are lived. Are realistic, it's yes, re- yes. It's so not skit. It's like he took this out of someone's life and dropped it. Yeah. Trey Rags does not miss. Mm-hmm. I could probably say Drewski doesn't miss miss either, but Drewski makes a whole production. Trey Rags has the same angle in the same room with the same sound effects every time and he does it fucking miss mm-hmm. that nigga is and I don't follow that nigga and I just gotta give respect to him he's just how you, how you feel like uh, Mr. Commodore and Shiggy how you think they feel about this list I feel like I feel like so many people time have kind of passed I fuck with Mr. Commodore it's just like I think he I think he's regional mm-hmm. I think Shiggy was our top dog from the region and him not being honest because he's not hot he gave him a father. I do think he should have made this list, though. If Gillian Wilder are going to make this list, he should have made this list. Because that whole woke rap shit yeah. was fucking... Phenomenals. Just, just that alone. Phenomenals. And Shiggy, the difference between a lot of people and Shiggy is that Shiggy might say some shit that's not funny, but it's very accurate. Mm-hmm. Like, he put up some shit like, I'll be trying to be mysterious and not post, but your life just boring. You ain't doing shit. And it's like, it's not funny, but he's dead ass right. So I think that's the thing. I, I think Shiggy did make a post saying he was like, fuck out of here, like, whatever. And, and I know, like. And my favorite didn't make the list, too, Charleston White. Charleston White is not trying to be a comedian. He is dead ass that, that, and cooked. <laughs> that nigga funny he as shit. He is cooked. Are you surprised? Right, before, don't attack me. I'm going to ask you, what's this question? Are you surprised no women made the list? Bitches ain't funny, bro. <laughs> Who's gonna make the list? Maybe Jess Hilarious. Maybe I, I was gonna say that. Or the bitch that V. Used to, I like V. Or the one she used to fuck with Rick Ross. The right? light skinned one. V. I don't know if she fuck with Rick Ross. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty she's funny. Cool. But what else is there? Any other funny bitches? Bitches don't be funny. Yeah, exactly. Bitches only funny when you want to fuck them, man. I don't want to fuck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I I'll be laughing. Just. <laughs> Oh, you hilarious. Man, you're so funny. You're hilarious, man. Oh, my babe. God. 
Is it hot? You want to take off your shirt? I'm going to take off mine. <laughs> I have no AC. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to take off our clothes. So I'm going to double back to the someone on this list that I don't find funny. But he was caught in a little funny situation. Who's that? Kai Sinat. Okay. So Kai went to Northwest birthday party. This okay. Morning. Took pictures with Lala and... Kim Kardashian, but he also had a picture with Northwest Dolo. How do you feel about that? I don't think there's nothing malicious behind it or whatever. She probably requested him. Um, obviously, North gets what she wants. Get what she wants from get her father and her moms. You know what I'm saying? So they probably booked him or whatever. I have you to get in contact with him. And they did content together too. They, they was running around um, New York City. Why or whatever. So yeah, so they ran around with mask on, and Northwest was asking people, um, "What do you think of Kai Sinat? Or do you want to meet him? Or whatever." And then they'll reveal themselves or whatever. And then you know, some people hyped to see you know Kai Sinat and shit wow. like that. But they were running around. They had camera crew and shit like that. They were doing like you know, uh, I guess content or whatever, running around New York and shit like that. So and I it's s- crazy because I'm like, I, I I wouldn't think that you know Kanye or Kim would. Allow her to even do something like that. She's busy running around with this nigga recording content, growing up to random people with a mic. Her? She has secret service with her. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, she's obviously. A no, I'm just saying, like, I'm NOS. surprised. I'm surprised they give her that much leeway to be doing some shit like that. You would think that they would kind of. She had her own ice spice chain. Oh, what does that mean? Northwest has a thing with the Bronx. Shut up. Hmm. Why she has a thing with the Bronx? Ice spice, Kai she... <laughs> Okay. Maybe uh, a boogie next. No. <laughs> Maybe you should send us some merch. I wish. I fucking wish. Kardashians is hard to get in. But I, I know they're not. Not. Not gonna go there. Okay. Shout out Ray J. Um <laughs> Ray J interview was hilarious. We're gonna double back on that. But what, Club Shay Shay? Yes. Oh. Hilarious. Um, but no, like people are posting like, what kind of shit is Kai on? Why would he be at a little girl's birthday party? And I'm like, <laughs> nigga act like he went there for vibes like he went there to like, <laughs> like fill on her butt <laughs> it was a business it was a business move a business Duh. transaction he was the, the people complaining about this shit and, and they don't even know what the fuck going on and it's like that's why I say cancel culture ain't real booked bro. and busy you think this thing of praying on however old Northwest is and her How little friends is Northwest and shit like that yeah like I gotta really think about it cause it's like why the fuck would you even fix your fucking mata to think like that like She's 11. She's 11. And how old is Kai? He's in early 20s. She born in 2013, dude. Yeah, yeah. That not fucking right. Also, she just turned... She probably just turned... Um, she's, like, what, 12 now? Then, right? No? Oh, 11. Yeah, she's 11. Yeah, yeah. He's 22. He's 20, okay. He was born in 2001. I knew what I was doing in 2001. Jesus Christ. That's kind of scary. I was in sophomore year in high school. That's my fucking... But yeah, I don't... Yeah, I think it was a business decision. I don't think it was no funny business going on. I don't think he's like preying on uh, 11-year-old girls and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Imagine. Nah, I, I, don't, I don't, don't want to imagine. imagine. I don't want to imagine. Yeah. You see where homeboy at right now. Robert. I'm going to leave him out of this. Yeah. Shout out to him and his remix beat being ran all over Jamaican Fiesta. We ain't going to go there. Um, did you watch the Club Shay Shay Ray J interview? No, I didn't watch it. I saw clips. I didn't watch it. Like, I'm not really a fan of. I, I, I you know, I don't. I don't. I well, no, I'm talking about Shannon Sharp. I'm you not like Club Shay Shay. They, he does really good interviews. And, and I got. I got to be into the person, and also I don't think he conducts a good interview. Really? No, I don't. I don't like it. Which interview like have you watched that you didn't like? Uh, the only one I did like was the Cat Williams and the um, Amanda Seals interview. Those are the only two that I genuinely enjoyed. Did he do Charleston White? He did Charleston, he, that was, nah, he can't. He Charleston White. He, he can't Charleston do White. He did, There's no way he's going to do Charleston White. He did He did the, the Kel. That was really good. Mm, yeah, I watched clips. I didn't watch the full thing. And he, yo, he, I ain't going to lie. Monique, he did the Monique interview. Out of everybody that, like, everybody that I watch interviews, he probably has the highest potential. Of, yeah, I like Mm. Like like eighty five percent he like you don't miss. I feel like he does get to a point where he might pander or like kind of lean in and and go with them instead of asking some questions that he needed 
you know, go down that path. He's not like enough Charlemagne, original Charlemagne. You mean like cha- challenging? Yes, like okay. going like left. Yeah. Like Monique, I feel like he was kind of easy. Like Cat, if he did all interviews like that, I was like, he's not going to lose. But mm-hmm. it is what it is. But the Ray J stuff, he was, they tiptoed around that Kardashian shit. Yeah. Tiptoed the fuck around that shit. Mm-hmm. He sent a shot at OJ, I ain't like that. And was, Ray J? Yeah. Okay. He was like, oh, something about OJ passing. He's like, yeah, I had some, I had some, old, I had some OJ last night, man. It was, it was, it was killer. And I'm like, what? Mm. I'm like, hey, Ray J, like, come on. And he spoke about like the whole sex tape shit, but they didn't really deep dive into that. So, mm, really cool. I also, I'm going a little bit left, uh, more so like little dangerous talkings. Um, you sent me, you actually sent me this clip. There's a clip going on where there's a town where they're trying to ban the U turn sign. Why are they trying to ban the U turn sign, Wiz? Because it's homophobic. How? How don't you understand that? All right. Explain to me like I'm five. How the fuck a U-turn sign is homo? Phobic. Okay. It says it's, no U-turns. It's homophobic. So a U-turn should be homo. So how's a U- Breaking this down. No U-turns is homophobic. So a U-turn is homo. How is a U-turn homo? First of all, it's Pride Month still. Um... And I think whatever the gay people want, they should get. Pause. Besides me, <laughs> I think that they should get it. If they feel like U turns are homophobic, home U turn signs are homophobic. I think that they should get what they want. Now explain to me how the fuck is a U turn? Oh, all right. So the backstory behind it is pause. pause. Um, happy Pride. Um, apparently, the the U turn. Sign no U-turn sign was because people were coming from one direction to go to a gay bar that was on the opposite side of the street. And no, a lot no. Of, yes, and a lot of people were making U-turns to go to this gay bar. So they put up a U-turn, a no U-turn sign to avoid people from making a U-turn. And they said that that was homophobic not that it was causing uh you know maybe uh a traffic disturbance or causing injuries or you know car accidents and crashes and things that of that stop. nature that gotta fucking stop and also because it's illegal to go over the double yellow line fuck all the traffic rules but I mean, there's a lot of other things that they do that they shouldn't do <laughs> I mean, but apparently you think I think a, they, they care about a yellow line but apparently they cross god's line apparently they said that no u-turn was to deter people from going to the gay bar. So why now, not? it had nothing to do with uh, tra- traffic avoidance of, you know, accidents and, and things of that. Not happen. for the safety of you guys. Yeah, yeah, not for the safety, but it was to deter people. Because, like, if we- I wanted to go to this club across the street. I can't park over there. I'm I can't. Go, go, go yeah, exactly. Like, I, need, I need to be able to bust it. <laughs> I need to bust what? You need to bust what? Turn backward. Backward. <laughs> <laughs> bust a U-turn. Yeah, hey, sometimes you gotta bust it. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. No, no, I would never show niggas. <laughs> I would never show niggas. You're pandering for Drake right now. Stop. <laughs> Yo, I'm mad. I what? really thought it had to do with like the symbolism of the gay bar shit is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucking flaming. Yeah, that's the backstory behind it. Pause. Pause. Yes. Okay. Fuck all that. Let's move to something else. Yes. So, I see that there's a thing going on, and I always tell people, like, we live in a time where we live in chronic trends, and things get trendy really fast. And I've seen from the pandemic to maybe last year, there was an influx, a dangerous amount, an unbelievable amount of less parties in the summer to more fish fries. Yes. How do you feel about that? Well, one, niggas don't have insurance, so how else are they supposed to be paying for people's funerals and commissary and lawyer fees and things like that? So the fish fries to to pay bills. So the the fish fry is equivalent to the black insurance, for the most part. It's it's a replacement. That you you ever heard of white people having fish fry? They can't cook. (laughs) (laughs) 
they barely like fried foods. Okay. Well, what, what's the so what's the white version of a uh, fish fry? Steamed. No, I had no steamed. Casserole party. A potluck. Tuna melt. A tuna melt. Jesus Christ, that sounds potluck. disgusting. But not yet. It's yeah. It's like you know what I'm saying. One, these people don't probably don't have a, a restaurant. A panhandling license. Yeah, exactly. They don't have a restaurant, or they're not gonna get a permit. Yeah, they get a permit and shit like that. So that's their. I'm not knocking that's their out, revenue. So by the way. That's their revenue for making money. Or whatever. Like people don't traditionally want to do a party and have people pay at the door. They rather throw a free event and charge for the food, and have you buy the you know snapper and shit like that. Or so my my question goes to you. Yeah. Would you? How many fish fries did you go to last summer? And do you think there should be a limit of the amount of fish fries you can throw? Uh no, nah, yeah, fish fries definitely had Jamaican. Uh, in a headlock. In a headlock. In that a shoes. fucking headlock. Yeah, it was a it was an epidemic, will I say. Right after epidemic. Right after the pandemic. Yeah, we had an epidemic. I think you just you get one a summer. Shout out to Fred, yeah. <laughs> one a summer fish fry. Mm-hmm. How is this live? Where's not on vacation? Wow, okay. Who said that? Tatiana. Mm. <laughs> you like how I did that? Yeah, good. Yo. But let me post something now. <laughs> now the thing about it that scares me is mm-hmm. that this summer, I don't know if you know this, because you be in the streets like I be in the streets. This summer, I feel like the first street business there was was the water and the drinks at the highway. That started it. It was the poor people. Then it became the immigrants. Then it became anybody. But no, wait. I'm sorry. Let me double back, because I did it wrong. The first street hustle is, I'm not selling this for my basketball team, my church. I'm selling this to keep myself off the street and put money in my pocket. Mm. The candy hustle was the first hustle. Your school used to try and get you to, to sell candy and stuff, so you get these fucking crazy prizes out of the book. My mom never allowed me to do that shit. And somebody said, let me just go buy my own pack of candy and sell it on the train. And that was the first hustle. The second hustle was the beverage, the highway beverage hustle. The third hustle now is the fish fry. The fourth hustle now, especially in Caribbean places, is the jerk stand. Not the jerk truck. The jerk stand. How many fucking jerk stands slash trucks do you see in a 10 block radius, Wiz? Uh, a lot. Um, seven not yet so, seven yeah, yeah, blocks. Yeah. it's uh, I mean I guess they're trying to trying to what raise up capital to, so they can get a restaurant not everybody has the money to pay for an establishment a storefront and shit like that and then they're just trying to ting and also they don't gotta pay rent so it's lucrative for them and plus they see Tom, Dick and Harry doing it pause or whatever the case is. So, you know, it's a, you know, a red eye culture. You know, they see somebody else doing it. They want to do it too. Guys, we got it. And they feel like they do it better than the do nigga. Do really feel like that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. They feel like they got the, you know, the, the seasonings uh, passed down from generation to generation. All this bullshit they talking about. Or whatever. They put more pimento seeds than the homeboy next door. <laughs> and, you know, they feel like they this shit. They give a half chicken. They give two They feel like this shit slap. The thing is, the funny part is. None of them do anything different from the other one. They, it's all the same shit. And that's that's the weird part in it. But it's just like, you know, fuck it. It's clearly working for them because there's so many of them. When do you think it will stop or will it ever stop? It won't stop until NYPD put a stop to it. Like, it's going to keep happening. So why are they just allowing them, allowing them to cook? No pun intended. Well, one, obviously there's a demand for it. Niggas like jerk chicken, clearly. I love the smell of jerk chicken on in the summer. How often have you bought for these trucks? I think I probably bought from a truck. When the first guy was at Bronx Boulevard, that was it. Yeah, that, I mean that's I where I go. I don't think I've ever had from anybody else. Um, it depends. Um, if I'm like if I'm out of town, then yeah, you know that's different because yeah. you're, you miss home. But over here, um, I'd very go rare to spot. I might go. I'd rather go to jerk house. Very rare, and also, I'd rather yeah, I would rather go somewhere that has a, a cleaning facility because like where these niggas using a bathroom at, like they, they washing their hands. Yeah, Wiz, Wiz does not like to take food from people that cook at home. Not yeah, exactly. He doesn't. Or whatever. We have one exception. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Um, but 
It's just how do you how you keep it clean and shit like that? Like, I don't, is that adding being to the there for ten hours? Is the improper hygiene adding to the flavor? Possibly. I don't know. Is the grill getting is the grill getting the uh, substances off your hands that you're not washing? You have no sink there. It's shit like that. I don't I don't know what the fuck is going on. The seasoning with the fingernails. But sometimes and... sometimes when I'm in my uh, rambunctious high moments, I rather go out and you know get some jerk chicken and shit like that. So I may indulge. Every so often, not or not not a lot, but I get some white meat pause. What is? With a little jerk sauce hey. and barbecue. Yo, and a hard old bread. Hey, you know I'm gonna just allow you. Thank you. I'm allowing you. Appreciate you. You Deserve this, and we're almost end. Thank you. So I I ask you. Yeah. What do you think will be the next trend? A seafood truck. I don't think so. I because think that'll be seafood hard. Seafood stuff is way more expensive. People need a low entry into a market. Jerk chicken plates and now is like what twenty dollars now. Damn near. Yeah, but it, the price of the chicken is cheap. To get the shrimp and the crab legs and that shit is expensive. And it, I feel like it goes bad faster. What seafood go bad faster? I think I think raw seafood mm. pours. But I'm saying you got to do something different to one but gain. Who's gonna be the person to crack the ceiling? I don't see anybody cracking it. Anybody? I feel like anybody that we can do, do it. No, I wouldn't. I don't. You want to do a, a steam fish uh, truck? No. You know how fast that shit will go. I, I like to stay on brand. I want a cafe. No, nah, I'm saying we can do it behind the scenes and shit like that. It depends on if, if I like. We know the perfect nigga for it. Pause. If if I, if I have if there's a person that I like and they're cooking already, I would invest. You don't know know anybody in that. No. It's it's always two things. Oh boy. It's always two things. Either you could cook. Yeah. And your worth ethic is horrible. Yeah. Or you have everything else, but you don't have the sauce. Mm-hmm. It's all. It's never both. So it's like, yeah, but no. And then there's some people that I have think. Like I, a think a, I think. I think. I think. I think a seafood seafood truck would would hit one. I don't think. To my nobody wants to go to Porto. To my knowledge, nobody's doing it. See what I'm saying? And also at the same time, like, with a West Indian flair too, like. Nobody is doing that. Like, is um, maybe lighthouse possibly yeah, do something along the lines of that? But in a truck, that shit would hit. Obviously, it would have to be prepared differently, but because you can't have a little, you know, well, there, there's steamer in a truck. I would assume. There's I don't definitely know. an idea now. Yeah. Okay, we'll think about it. Yeah. Huh. Think about it. Let's talk about it off air. Okay. Well, let's sell fish. On that, we're gonna wrap this. Happy Pride. Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Even that. Yes, sir. See y'all next week. Yes, sir, Ski. Are we here next week?